getting going out to everybody. Yeah. This is Money Flipping Matt Richards. Here to see what you remember at the start of November. Hasn't time been flying? Seems like just yesterday we were picking out Halloween costumes. Let me know what you were in the chat. Now we're thinking mashed potatoes or yams. Mm. Why not both? We have a couple more Thursdays to worry about that. All right. Anybody raked any leaves this year? Some people love doing that. Don't complain about it, but it's better than shoveling snow. I'd take leaves over snow all day. Uh, we're in the colder, darker part of the year, but that's where the really fun holidays are, so it balances out. Our calendar is really well designed. It shows the human ability to adapt over thousands of years. But tonight, we're here to test your ability to adapt in a few seconds. Don't get me wrong. Knowledge is the primary skill you'll need, okay? But as always, there'll be enough twists and turns that to win, you'll need a quick mind to go with that full brain. Okay. And of course, if you're one of the brightest Sharpies in a room full of dull dip pens, you won't just get bragging rights. Your hard-earned cut of the $5,000 prize pot is sure to find you. Price 5000 I said 5000 I said 5,000. I know. Glad you finally showed up, babies. Woo! If you, and if you've never played before, I'm glad you're here. Yes. It won't be easy, okay? But, uh, you got this. I believe you. And if it's your first game, I hope it's a winner. Whether you're a brand new player or a seasoned veteran, there's no more time for chatter. Because here comes the greatest test of mind and memory that fits in your phone. So screw that head on tight. Focus on the screen in front of you and let's get it there's nothing to it but to hq it with question number one question number one here we go q1 which of these is an authentic example of french cuisine donner kebab and chorizos or ratatouille french cuisine Hey, with a little knowledge of how the French language sounds and some help from a Pixar movie, you ought to be able to figure out that Ratatouille is French. Yeah. The Enchirito is not any authentic cuisine. It's a trademark of Taco Bell. 11,230 players got that one right, though. Ratatouille. I don't know how sanitary that was, having a little rat in your chef hat uh, telling you what to do, pulling on your hair. I don't think I'm going to eat there, personally. Okay. Ratatouille was the answer. Q2 in your face. Let's get it. Something's happening. It's going to do a little refresh. Here we go. All right. Did they see Q2? Cause I didn't think you two. Here we go, babies. Hope your week was great. Does anybody know somebody that needs quizzes? Been listening to Donda all day. That's Q3. That's Q3. Q2 is coming. So hang on to your butts. All right? All right. <laughs> Oh, no, I can't see. Just give me the phone. Give me the phone. I'll just read it off the phone. Let me take a look at this. There you go. All right. <laughs> hey, anything can happen when you're live, baby. How many times I told y'all that? So many. Okay, which sport is not commonly played on a green surface? MLB baseball, NBA basketball, or NFL football? There it is now on the screen. 
silly billies. Uh, <laughs> another day, another dollar. That's enough to make you holler. All right, different venues have their own quirks, but if there's no green in sight, you're not playing the Celtics at what's probably a basketball game. NBA basketball. 19,508 players got that right. NBA basketball. It's not commonly played on a green surface. It's that hardwood, baby. Yeah, yeah. Q3. Here we go. Magnesium hydroxide is sold with a nickname mentioning what? Honey? Milk? Or the other one? Swirl it up. Swirl it. <laughs> water. Okay. Honey, milk, or water? Thank you. There we go. All right. This is magnesium in liquid form. And they liked it enough to make it sound like food. But you don't want to consume too much milk of magnesia. Yeah, it could be a big-time laxative even when it's diluted, so be sure you need it, all right? 16,785 players got that one right. Milk of magnesia, magnesium hydroxide. Question number four, knocking on your door. Isaac Newton developed his version of calculus to solve a problem in what game? Astronomy, economics, or geometry? Okay, all the best science solves problems, whether it's sickness or video games having low-res graphics. And while geometry figured into the solution, the problem involved planetary orbits. Yeah, not bad for a young guy with no graphing calculator. 13,106 players got it right. Astronomy! Astronomy. Yeah. Question number five. For the children. The titles of Adele's four studio albums add up to what? Less than 100, exactly 100, or more than 100. Titles of Adele's four studio albums. All right, there's nothing music fans love more than a quick math quiz, right? It's just a couple weeks until the release of 30, which added to 19, 21, and 25, only make 95. Rolling in the deep. 7,252 got it right. It's good to see her branching out into even numbers. Finally, less than 100. 100. 100. Keep it 100. Uh, <laughs> question number six. And it goes a little something like this. Disney's titular Little Mermaid shares her name with a prominent character in what play? Did someone nice dream the Tempest or the Okay, this is a crossover just begging to happen, but mostly with the theater Disney crowd. Uh, that's because Ariel's Disney's Little Mermaid, as well as the cause behind the storm in The Tempest. Imagine if she could do that in the cartoon. That'd be wild. 8,311 players got that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Question number seven. I know, you went to LaGuardia, I went to Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Q7! Which nation does not use a currency called a pound? Angola, Egypt, or Sudan? National currency goes back to weighing specific amounts of things, right? So, it makes sense that the pound would be the name, however, the Kwanzaa is the official currency of Angola. And I hope it's a happy Kwanzaa. 4,225 players got that right. Angola. Y'all know a thing or two about money. I am the money flipper. And I'm looking forward to flipping some money towards a few of you. Question number eight. Know you're feeling great. Ooh. In the Big Bang Theory. Amy wins a Nobel Prize for a form of what involving physics? Asymmetry, neuroscience, or perpetual energy? What's it gonna be? All right, when you're wrapping up a show on nerds, a Nobel isn't a bad idea. And somehow Sheldon and Amy team up to win the prize. 
and they did it for super asymmetry. The pseudoscience is too much for us, but believe us. 3,137 players got it right. Four more questions till we find out who's getting some of this cash and doing the dash. All right. Question numero nueve. Which U.S. president did Queen Elizabeth II not meet? Harry Truman, Lyndon Johnson, or Richard Nixon? All right, some of us think U.S. history is like a million years long, but there's a living woman who has met more than a fourth of our presidents, from Harry Truman to Joe Biden. She only missed out on LBJ. Yeah. She definitely liked some more than others. 2,941 players got it right at Q9. Feeling fine. Question number 10, my friends. Time to get it in. Let's go. Which animal is native to a different part of the world than the other two? Penguin, polar bear, or wolf? I, I've got a little Sheba. A little Ethereum and a little bit of bit. And some Doge. And I'm working on some NFTs. I'll tell y'all more about that later. Q10. <laughs> Just because you're built for the cold doesn't mean you hang on and you hang out at both poles. Lots of species are exclusive to either north or south. And at the North Pole, you'll only find, you'll find bears and walruses. But the penguin is Antarctic. 2,609. I, I hit penguin. Yeah. Why did I get it wrong? Yeah. All right, question number 21. All dogs go to heaven. Hmm. The charge of the light brigade was during a battle whose name sounds like clothing worn wear, head on for feet. All righty. The Brits and the Russians had a bit of a showdown at this battle, and that light brigade went down in history for it. But you might forget it's a battle of... The, uh, Balkal... The, what is it? The Balkalava? Like the ski mask. Mm. Huh? Balaklava. Ooh, yes. <laughs> I wanted to say Balaklava. That's delicious. Uh, but the Balaklava. 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 <laughs> the Balaklava, y'all. Yeah. The Balaklava Brigade would sound better. 2,255 players. Got it, Balakaba. A Reggie NFT could be dope. I'm just saying. Just saying. All righty. Uh, 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 uh. 12, the final question of the game, babies. Q12, let's get it. Come on. We're doing a graphic? This does feel like Squid Games a little bit. I'm down to do HQ Squid Games. I love Squid Games. I'm down. I would survive. I would take that little candy thing and then carve out the HQ letters. <laughs> okay, I'm really good at red light, green light. You what? Everything. <laughs> Q12, we did it. Final question, here we go. Which of the Milankovic cycles takes the shortest time to complete? Axial tilt, eccentricity, or axial precession? I like a Reggie NFT. Let's do it. All right. If you know about these cycles, you'll know the Earth doesn't have a perfectly clean spin. There are wobbles built into it on cycles lasting thousands of years. But the shortest, at around 20,000 years, is axial precession. Oh, my God. I 
Marshall Savage question. We have 821 winners of HQ Trivia tonight, baby! Let's go to work! Reggie NFT. Reggie NFT. Reggie NFT. Reggie NFT. That's six dollars going out to everybody. Shout out to who, Kitty? Chala la la la. Nine five. 741MP, N1Ocity, uh, Jam90253, Scruff Mac, Cesspool, uh, N Crawlma, Kesha, M Drahimbi. <laughs> Way to go, you winners. And if it wasn't a payday for you, I hope you had some fun. Well, we like to say if you didn't earn something, you learned something. And you're that much better armed for your next go-round. Or your local bar trivia night. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget to check us out on all the socials and you'll never have to miss another thrill-packed HQ game. All right? Set your notifications on your device. We love staying in touch with you. That's for sure. All right? There he is. He's the most wonderful bear of the year. I love you. Until we talk again, I'm Matt Richards saying, I'm ready to set my clocks back an hour this weekend, but how about a thing on Monday morning where we set them back two days? It'd be more popular, and I bet nobody would forget. Right? Bye!